What's happening, people? Hi! My name is Rainy. I'm Ben. We're the Journals of Awakening. Oh. Today we're going to talk about something near and dear to me. Near and dear. She's talking about the, what? <laughs> the throat chakra, basically. I mean. How are we going to talk about a throat chakra with a penis on the table? It's a mushroom. Oh, so it's a mushroom. I was gifted a mushroom crystal. It's blue. My mind went completely blank. Adventurine. Let's do the thing. Oh, we're going to do the thing. <laughs> Make sure it shows up. Oh, here's the camera. Yeah. Okay. It's a mushroom. And it was given to me by my bosses, which is where this conversation comes from. All right. The topic of the day. Growing up, I had to go to court when I was in therapy like my whole life, mm. like court ordered. And the one thing that you don't learn, oddly enough, is how to speak your truth. <laughs> you know, they, you think that they would push it on you. Speak your truth as in speak your mind as the feelings arise? Yeah, like... Or after you think about how it. How you really feel, what's really going on, you're honest, you know? <laughs> honest yeah. with yourself. Not your people-pleased version. Yes. Right. And I just uh, grew up learning how to people please to get the answer that everybody wanted and try to keep everyone happy mm -hmm. i have a libra moon my emotions i want everyone around me to be balanced and happy and good so that i mean our 10 year old does the same thing you know you want to keep everyone happy on either side because then there's no conflict you learn how to people please but when you grow up you have to learn how to not you know you have to advocate for yourself yeah Otherwise, you'd be stuck in a world of shit you don't enjoy. Yeah. Yep. And I think we're both pretty bad at it. Yeah. That. We're getting good. Yes. I think it's coming to surface lately. It's like, you know. I think so, too. So, I was told by my bosses something that upset me. And they're not usually ones to upset me. So, it was something that I had to, like, ruminate in my brain for a couple of days and just let myself feel out the anger and decide... That it was something I really needed to talk about. Even though what they were talking about wasn't going to happen for like 10 months, 9 months. It was still something that had the potential. Yeah, she was very upset on yesterday. Yeah, it was two days ago. Two is, days ago? Is now? when I learned okay. the first time. Yeah. And so then they brought me this from the Tucson Gem Show. Which is one of the biggest gem shows in the world. And people come from everywhere to see it. That was without knowing that she had some kind of a dilemma. Yeah, yeah. They just that was me. not bought. They, as this a, oh, this we're was sorry. no. <laughs> this was bought as a we appreciate you and we thought of you when we were crystal shopping. Right. Yeah. As you should. I love crystals and mushrooms. So, uh, in fact, my boss actually gave me this necklace I'm wearing. The wife boss, and this <laughs> mushroom, and um, then I realized that it's not fair to them. Or myself for me to not talk about what is going on you know I've been working there for like 15 months and I can't just keep everyone happy by making myself miserable mm -hmm. by holding all of this in by, by not asking for raises and you know time off and things like that yeah she exactly. doesn't do that because she loves her bosses too much yeah well I mean and there's got to be a balance you know what I mean like you, although it's I like working for your family it's Bad. <laughs> Although I still didn't ask for like, I mean, okay, when I what I had to talk to them about was something else, and uh, I'm not good at conversations like that, so I like started to cry, but like swallowed my tears. Yeah, no, I know the feeling. And I kind of just choked in, choked out what I could, you know, instead of like elongating the conversation, I was just trying yeah, to get my point across. That's a cool word. But, Especially in reference to penises. <laughs> um, I got my point across, and then I let it, you know, settle because I couldn't talk about anything else after that. Right. But the point was, I, I don't necessarily. I wasn't looking for a raise at this time, and although I do want time off, that wasn't necessarily what I was looking for at the moment either. I was looking for this problem to be solved, or for me to feel comfortable with the resolution. For the future and that's what i got and i felt comfortable about it and uh but it led me to knowing that i could voice it my truth in the future 
Always. And be heard without backlash, you know? This just happened to me. Oh, really? You you know about this with a, a dear friend of mine. We will not call him out. Oh, yeah. Never just happened when normally I would just swallow it, try to look the other way, you know, try to just block everything out. I handled it. I approached my problem. Yeah. And it turned out so much better that way. Exactly. Imagine if I would have just... Done let the other it, thing. Yeah, just, sit just let there it sit and, been mad and, and just nothing. been mad for no reason, yeah. for literally no reason. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's totally true. You have to face your truth, otherwise you're living a freaking lie. Yeah, I mean. and and I like my job. The goal wasn't to go to work miserable or wish I wasn't there because I was right. like this holding case, resentment. We'll Get a new yeah, job. <laughs> that was almost what I was feeling. I was like, I should just leave. Just like I forget the problem. Well, we're in a small together. enough town to where. Um, <clears throat> You know, things go bad at a job. The whole town knows. Yeah. <laughs> so. So I. It's time to move. <laughs> I saw my opportunity, and it was a busy day today. But they walked. Or everyone walked problems. outside, and I said, "So I kind of got to talk to you both about my feelings." <laughs> That's how I started it. Today I feel. Yeah. That's my thing. <laughs> and my female boss Anne was like, "What do you mean?" And I was like, <sighs> "Okay," <laughs> you know, and I just laid it out on the table. And he was like, oh, God, oh, let me, yeah, and then it was just, yeah. we talked a little bit, and yep. it felt good because... It's easy to be misunderstood or misunderstand, you know? Yeah, exactly. But what's not easy is talking about it. And uh, especially for me, I'm so bad at talking about things. I actually, I had a dream the other day <clears throat> about that one person. That was last week, by the way. What? MLK Day. It's <laughs> 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 so funny though. That was really funny. Um, Sweat on Okay, so you know that one girl that, you know, although it makes sense that we were friends, she's just a little, you know, my Virgo, the Virgo girl. Um, yeah. So I had a dream about her that I went up to her and put my grievances out there. Ooh. Yeah, and then in my dream, it was. I bet it would go well. In my dream, yeah. she was like. I'm thinking about the scenario. Should, yeah, she was like, "Well, we should have been talking about this." Yeah. I feel like when we met, we were under this pretense to where we both had to make each other like each other. So it's, it was like people pleasing each other. It's the, whole the same time. thing with my own mother, and my sister. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you've tried to talk to them about what bothers you. Maybe, but I could just show up at their house. Yeah, it's true. They just don't give it a second. They don't. It, it's just it doesn't click, you know? It's not click. They think that, what do you mean? You're wrong. That's not how it goes, you know? Right. I never did that to yeah. you. <laughs> but like, there's no time to be in denial. <laughs> this, this girl, uh, it would make sense that we were friends, but I feel like there was just so much pressure to people please each other. Mm -hmm. And even though... And then I realized in that dream that everything that I can't stand about her is like pure projection. I'm... Like the neighbor's car. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I can't stand it. Pure projection. I, I... wish I had a loud car. I know you do. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, one of the things I can't, I don't, can't stand about her is her trauma. And I realized that that's like... It's just the word trauma that makes it frustrating, you know? Mm -hmm. Everyone's grown up in a way that's going to shape them in the future. Yeah. And to me, I'm just, like, so insulted by what she thinks is trauma versus what I do. And that's obviously... That's wrong. My problem. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> she, that's your shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm offended that, you know, I should be happy that she got to grow up, you know, with parents and love. And she lives in a house... That yeah, her dad no, owns. Like, it's good I, for her, you know? Yeah, no, I But instead, it. I just don't feel that way. I'm like, and I just, um, I, after that dream happened and I've had like a week to think about it, you know, I would like to be able to sit down with her and talk about that. And me, I prefer not having anyone else to think about. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, I prefer just my house, my kids, that'd be nice. Maybe that's what it is. I just, I got like a void. I can't even imagine showing love to something else. You know what I mean? Or maybe it's, uh, I mean, yes, that's definitely a theory. Yeah. But what if it's because something might happen that you might have to talk about? What if you just, uh. What do you mean? So you know how you, the same girl, her boyfriend, you 
we're considering fiance. We're gonna start a business, right? Nobody cares about the fiance word. <laughs> I know, I hate that word. I don't Shut know up. why. Yeah, good for uh, you. You're in love. You're madly in love still. Good for you. Yeah. I've always hated that word, you know? I I just like partner. Just like boasting on people, you know? Yeah. I think it's for being proud of yourself. But for, in for a like way. being a grown-up kind of thing? Or like, yeah, like... It's part of a, a, yeah, like a step where you feel like you have to do it. You have to say you have a fiancé because that's... Like, look at me. I Yeah, exactly. And that, see, taking it personally is projection. Yeah. And, um, but what if you're, so when you were going to start a business and all this stuff happening that you weren't okay with and you felt uncomfortable, that you, you talked about some of it, but a lot this of it. because she stuck her toes in there and I, I'm not. No, I'm not talking about her. Okay. I'm talking about him. Or so no. he was doing the same thing, you know, hmm. but he was trying to set this up and you wanted to go along with it. But at the same time, you really didn't want to commit to anything, but he wanted to start his thing yeah. and you didn't want to talk to him about it because... It's hard to speak your truth. <laughs> yeah, no idea how many people have asked me to start a business with them. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's ridiculous. I, I don't want to be in business with anybody. <laughs> but I just think that speaking your truth and having a grown-up conversation is fucking hard. Yeah. It's really hard because you put yourself out there and humans are so unpredictable. You never know how anybody's going to react. I feel like nine times out of ten, no, it's going to be cordial. You know, it's not going to be violent. They're not gonna, just going to ah! try to karate chop you because you talk to them, you know? Like, I hear you. So, picture little Rainy trying mm -hmm. to speak her truth and getting yelled at by both parents in a courtroom. <laughs> you know, it's like... Well, that's the system. They fucked you. Yeah, maybe that's just my... You, I don't know how to speak my yeah, truth. You've been I feel traumatized. Like, I feel like I'm never going to be able to get anything right. Yeah. The court's uh, just a group of humans judging and deciding for another group of humans. It makes no goddamn sense to me. Yeah, it's... Uh, Absolutely not. Uh, we're going down a whole rabbit hole there. Well, that's the point. Oh, oh, you mean like court and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. But, it, I mean, I just really think it fucked me up as a person, you know? Going to therapy and all this shit. When I was in high school, my American Lit teacher told me I couldn't miss Mondays because of how important they were. And when I was missing Mondays to go to therapy every Monday. And in therapy, I was being forced to see my dad when I didn't want to. I, it was a therapist I hated. You know, it was all this shit. And he's telling me I can't miss Mondays. I got all this other shit going on. And I told him... I'm sorry, I can't change the date. Instead of telling him, my life is fucked up and you just better help me out on the side, you know? Or I'll burn your house down. Yeah, that's what I would have said. I would have been <laughs> fucking, fucking mad, dude. I would have been furious. But that's, that's how I felt. And obviously, because I've never forgotten about it, I was mad. Monday, Monday, you were talking about my Monday! No, I had class with him every day. Monday. It was just Monday. And uh, <sighs> my feelings were hurt because he had no fucking clue. But I told him... Probably uh, a really privileged I, man. Yeah, no, he is, definitely. <laughs> I did tell him I had therapy every Monday, and he told me I I needed to change it. And I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, so I was just mad. Yeah, let me rewrite my life for your yeah. stupid-ass job. Hold on. But I wish <laughs> I could have said, I got a lot going on. This is court-ordered, and I don't have a choice, you know? But I didn't. I just wanted him to, the conversation to end, you know? I wanted to be... So um, did he ever figure it out? No. Wow. So you just lived in hell for not facing, confronting. I, I lived in hell my whole high school because nobody knew what was going on. It was one of those things where I never really thought to tell anyone because I didn't think it mattered. You know, everyone's got their shit outside of school. But Yeah, that's how I thought. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? yeah, like, yeah, every, everybody's going through some shit. You everyone's know? <laughs> got their shit, so why do I need to talk about mine? Exactly. And, but really, mine was absolutely ruining my life. Absolutely. And I couldn't reach out to anyone. You know, I started doing drugs and they drug tested me. No one wanted to know why I was doing them. Yeah. They just wanted me to not do them, you know? And it was... That's what's cool about mine and your story is they're so different, yet so the same. You know yeah. I mean? It's like the same outcome. Shelter your child. Put them through the system. Here you are. You yeah. know what I mean? Don't watch your child. Fuck the system. Here so I am. You know, now, like, <laughs> we're like the same person. It going make back, damn sense. because I never really talked to you about that dream, and I felt like it was a whole conversation I had with myself, 
Okay. I've always wanted to be good friends with her, but I keep my shit down. You know, I mm -hmm. I don't talk about that. I just people please. Well, you can't do it through text. No, no, it'd be like, why don't you come get coffee and stuff? Because yeah. I, I want. I think more like a phone call. -in. Like a normal phone call. How would you feel if someone wanted to phone call you and talk about it? I talk. I would listen. Really? I'm a good listener. Yeah, I love to listen. That's if somebody has something good to say. I'm gonna listen. Maybe I should just get balls one day and FaceTime. <laughs> no, see, that's where the pressure lies. Really? Yeah, because okay. then you gotta hide your facial expressions and not chuckle. You know, like <laughs> <laughs> you're being all awkward. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's totally true. Just a good old phone call. So I mean, it's a small enough town where you could just go and say hi, but that's awkward. Yeah, that's exactly. Because, We're in an age where you don't have to do that. Especially because, you know, they're expecting a child, and that's that's a lot. I mean, it's yeah. not for like five, four months, but right. still, in, and it's not because she's expecting a child. You're giving I, out so much information. She's definitely, if she ever hears this, she knows who she is. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. I, I know they don't listen to it, you know? Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty crazy, actually, guys. We gave all of our relatives a business card, not one of them. Do you listen to podcasts? Nope. But listen I watch YouTube. <laughs> I love I'm comedy. <laughs> I think that people just don't listen to podcasts. So they're not going to go out of their way to listen to a podcast. That's yeah. fair, I guess. But I mean, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Maybe. Is that you, so you hard? Know, you know? <laughs> but yes, I am. Um, that's just me. I'm, I'm, yeah. Although having a child is wonderful, I don't actually care about all that. Babies are boring. I, I mean, I love babies. It's so cute and you just want to squeeze your cheeks. But, like, they don't do anything, <laughs> you know? So it's when the people yeah. I know have babies, I'm like, oh, look at the baby. But that's it. You can't, like. No, you don't. You go, babe, we should have another one. <laughs> that's what she does every time she sees yeah, a baby. Yeah, because they turn into that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that, you know? It's just. Uh, it's not forever. Yeah. Watching forever. a personality develop is thrilling <laughs> for those of you that don't have kids uh get a kitten and a week later it'll be a cat and that's how childhood that's is. how childhood yeah. is literally <laughs> um enjoy it while it lasts <laughs> i'll say for ben it's it was a little different he worked overnight a lot for like the first year yeah. i feel like you really missed out on watching a baby develop like like obviously i, I know it was a baby three yeah yeah that <laughs> for too. you for her it was baby one for me it was baby three so it's yeah. a little different but yeah i feel you i did i worked overnight security top flight <laughs> only a handful of people will understand that reference top flight Ooh -wee! <laughs> top but. flight security of the world craig <laughs> That's just the city, the world. Be <laughs> security in the world, Craig. What? But yeah, remember when you were your other close friend in town? Yeah. When you were telling him that you quit cigarettes the first time you hung out, you know? Yeah. You spoke your truth. I You're did. like, listen, and this it is... wasn't easy. No, yeah. of course. This is why it's been so long. He's the one who got me smoking. So, yeah. Know, and you thing. told him for real why you hadn't been around, you know? And yes, I did. Because I hadn't seen him in like three months. Yeah, and it went yeah. well. It did. Yeah. It was like, I'm really glad you told me. Yeah. You know, that probably made him feel better knowing that I didn't just ghost him. I was just kind of protecting myself. Exactly. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, I just, speaking your truth is important, you know. That's why, you know, I, I made plans for a couple days from now. Mm -hmm. And I came home and I was like, how am I going to tell him? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I'm just going to tell him I made them. Because I felt like this was genuinely, genu genuinely something that really excited me, you know. And I yeah, was, and it's during my live anyway. That's yeah, fun. and I was like, you know, it's it sounds like a lot of fun. So I'm really trying to be able to advocate for myself and do the things I want to do while being honest. And that's so hard. And she's for giving me. you a ride, right? Yeah, she said she'll okay, pick Sorry, you. I went around. Yeah, yeah. I was just worried about the car. I was like, ah, she's, she there's gonna, a lot of hills. No, no she's going to pick me up. <laughs> okay. But I, um, I, it's so hard for me to be able to talk about what I need. And I think that reading's helping me a lot. I'm reading books about a lot of strong women. Uh, yeah, and I think you're really learning, uh, you probably 
have a huge vocabulary, but I think reading reintroduces those words, and you're able to better explain things. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Better, I've noticed. Better be able to select the words and right. to phrase them. Like, I wish I could smart, because I would definitely talk better. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could smart so I could word better. <laughs> I would like to word better. More eloquently. Well, weller. I would like to I would like to word weller. Yeah. More well. <laughs> so this morning Wellest? I put this necklace on that she gave me and this is kyanite. That's the, also from your boss. Yes. That, wow, that's I, what I said at the beginning of the I guess I missed that. I thought you were talking about the penis and the mushroom. Yeah. And this. And so, okay. kyanite is also for your throat chakra to help you speak your truth. Mm -hmm. So, I wasn't sure if I was going to put it on. Then I was like, what if I get the balls? So, I put it on. And then I forgot it was on when I decided I had the balls. You know? Believe in crystals. <laughs> I do. Because subconsciously, my brain was like in tune with the energy. You know? It's like, you're going to speak your truth today because you I deserve it. I do believe in crystals. I do believe in crystals. I do believe in crystals. <laughs> I do believe in crystals. Because if you say otherwise, a crystal dies somewhere. Everybody. <laughs> and on that note, we thank, thank you. you. Peace. <laughs>